to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. And I want to thank all of you wonderful partners. You are such a blessing. You know, I just went to Saudi Arabia. How could I do that, partners? So thank you so very much. And then I want to share a wonderful testimony that I believe is just so excellent because this is William who prayed for the return of their stolen unemployment money. Ugh. And the bank figured it out and referred, released the funds to them fully. Is that good? You know, money is a big deal with us. This is a big answer. Sarah, tell us about our guest today. Well, our guest today is you. <laughs> You're teaching, and you're teaching on Psalm 91. But right. before we hop into your teaching, I just want to encourage you. You might be watching right now, and you have financial needs. Maybe you have physical needs. You've received a diagnosis from the doctor that's very discouraging to you. Maybe you have some relationship family issues that are challenging to you. You're like, ooh, I'm pulling my hair out. We want to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We know that God answers prayer. And, and the testimonies that we share, hopefully that encourages and stirs up your faith that nothing is impossible with God. Nothing in your life is too small, too big, too difficult. God can do absolutely anything. And in this teaching that mom is going to share with you in just a moment, this is from Psalm 91. And I just want to read you verse 15 to kind of whet your appetite for what God will share with you or share to you through this teaching. And in verse 15, it says, you will call upon me and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble and rescue and honor him. This is a powerful teaching from Psalm 91 that will encourage your soul and help you to have a great future. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org or call us at 800-627-1995. I am so excited about this because this day we're looking at Psalm 91. Who doesn't like Psalm 91? If you haven't read it yet, I'm telling you, you'll read it today, you'll hear it in these days, and you'll think, wow, this is something I could use every day. And when did Moses write this Psalm? Well, I found out he wrote it in the wilderness. So it's also written for you during your times of wilderness, and God can bring you through to victory. So I'm so excited. And Jesus tells us in Matthew 24 that there will be times of crises in the end days. So what do we do? So he's not there at all? No, no, no. We choose where to dwell. We make choices. And I know faith choices are just very, very special. And so I want you to listen today, to take notes, and most of all, to make a faith choice. So Psalm 91 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, abide has to do with living, under the shadow of the Almighty. Whose shadow do you want to be under? I want to be under the shadow of the Almighty, and I know you do too. That's in your heart. And John 15, 7 says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. You know, I think a lot of times we hear very negative things. And I wanted to go on the radio and people said to me, 
you're not radio material. It won't work. But, you know, I believed that God could do anything through me. And I believed that his hand was upon me. And I believe his hand is on you. And I want you to believe that. I don't want you to think, oh, this is just all for Meryl and Hickey. I want you to think this is for me. God is saying these things to me. So, you know, I wanted to go on the radio and they said, no, no, you're not radio material. But I didn't give up. And so I, be I believed that God would give me an opportunity. And so I talked with a man on the phone one day and told him that I wanted to go on the radio. And he said, what? What makes you think you're radio material? <laughs> I said, God makes me think I'm radio material. So, you know, he was an unsaved man, but it moved him what I said. And I went on the radio. Now, do you have dreams and things you want to see come to pass? I want you to call for prayer because folks, God loves to do the impossible. God loves faith. And I want you to put faith in God today. This is very, very important. So I want you to call and I want you to believe God that he can do anything. You know, at one time they told me that I had cancer you know, and they always say, well, you know, you don't know what's going to happen to you. But I believed in healing. And I believed that I could do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And I chose to believe in healing. And, you know, folks, that's many years ago. I, I have no evidence of cancer. Isn't that awesome? We say, well, God can do a lot of things if we believe. But if we don't believe, we don't come into these things. This is faith. So I want you to call for prayer. And I want you to call for what you believe for. And, you know, don't make it a long call. You don't have to go into a lot of detail. But just say, I need healing. My mother needs healing. My family needs a breakthrough. We need a turnaround. Just that quickly and we are going to we are going to believe God we really are and where are you going to put your trust Psalm 91 2 says I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust now it says I will say because we always want somebody else to say it but I say it and I say it in the morning, you know, God, I put my trust in you. You're my refuge. You're my fortress. You're going to see me through. You're going to cause me to win. You see, the word of God sees me as a winner. And I begin speaking these things. Now, if I do that early in the morning, I drink coffee because I want to wake up well. And then that guides my day. Your day needs to be guided by faith. It needs to be guided by faith. And folks, if we get up and say, oh, what a day. I don't feel good. It's not going to happen probably. I'm just not good enough. Shut up. Say what the Bible says. You say, you're really strong. I know. Because I think those words, words can make things for you. And you don't want to make bad things. You want to make good things. So I love this. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I want to dwell there. I want to abide there. I want you to dwell there and abide there. That is so important. And imagine... Here I am. Do you know how old I am? I'm in my 80s. Wow. And they, I don't have cancer. They think I'm very healthy. I think I'm very healthy. I think I'm a winner. Hey, I think you are a winner. 
Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's Word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick, experiencing a deep love for the Bible, and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Where are you going to put your trust? Really, that's where you're going to be victorious. And in Psalm 91, 21, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. So what does that do to me? That lifts my faith up to believe that anything is possible for me. It's not just my age. It's not just my circumstances. It's what God says. And in verses 1 through 2, we see God's name four times. Wow. El Elyon, the Most High. God is higher than my circumstance. God is higher than your circumstances. El Shaddai, our provider. God is my provider. You know, I cannot just look at circumstances. He is a provider in my circumstances. I love that. Jehovah, the Lord is Jehovah. And Jehovah has a personal interest in you. And I feel that for you. God has a very personal interest in you. Are you acknowledging it? Yes, he's Jehovah. He has interest in me. And Elohim, ooh, Elohim, God the creator who made everything, he can create a new beginning for you. This is wonderful. So put your hand on your heart. Say, he can create a new beginning for me. And I want you to call for prayer. And I want you to believe that God is absolutely creating new beginnings for you. You say, well, I don't know that that's possible. Please, all things are possible with God. I'm much older than you. And you're much younger than I am, probably. But God is still creating new beginnings for me. It's astounding to me. And I think it's astounding for you. So we want to hear from you. We want to believe for you. We know God has the miraculous for you. And you're not giving up. But I'm telling you, your faith is going up. And I want you to have the Lord as your refuge and habitation. God promises to deliver us from big problems as well as small. You say, well, I've got both. Well, he can deliver from both. And you say, how do you know that? I can tell you that because I've lived to be so old and I've seen how his promises work. So if people say to me, well, the word doesn't work, honey, it's too late to tell me that. I've been seeing it work for many years, actually, since I was 11 years old, I began to speak the promises of God. And I began to see that I could move mountains by speaking promises. But not only could I move the mountain, are you listening to me? I could get what's on the other side of the mountain. God has good things for us. So when we move mountains, we're getting what's on the other side. And I'm excited for you and I want you to know that I've watched God move in other people's lives as well as my own. I'm a pastor's wife for many years, so I'm not just talking about myself. 
I'm talking about people. And I believe God wants to move your mountains. But I believe God wants to give you what's on the other side of the mountain. I believe God wants to refresh you and encourage you today. And I don't want you to sit there and say, well, I think it's all over. I want you to be quiet and say what God says. Okay? I want you to listen to me. And I'm older than you, so I've had more experience than you. So can I say it works? Can I say the word works? Yes, I can. And, you know, I have my Bible here, my black Bible. It just has all kinds of notes in it. It has tears that have been shed in it. But most of all, it has promises of victory that I can celebrate. I can look back and say, God did this. God healed my body. God opened doors for me. God gave me favor in nations that don't like women. God gave me absolutely miracles overseas as well as here. God has moved in my family. I can tell you of many miracles in my family because God moves and works. And I'd love for you to call for prayer because, you know, you don't have to go into a lot of detail, but we believe in the miraculous. And we don't believe that God has favorites. We believe he loves you. And he has something so special for you. So I want you to look up and say the best is ahead and the worst is behind. And I want you to see that he is your provider, El Shaddai, that he is El Elyon, the Most High God, higher than your circumstances. I want you to see Jehovah. The Lord is Jehovah. He has a very personal interest in you. When I get up in the morning, I tell him good morning because I know Jehovah has an interest in my day. Elohim, I know that God can create what I don't have. He made everything. He can create a new beginning in you. Man, is that wonderful? It is absolutely wonderful. So I have a new beginning today. You can have a new beginning because you have him. I look at him. Who is he? He's Elohim. Those names of God are absolutely marvelous. So remember, you're a winner today. You're not a loser. Remember, I am a winner today. And we win together because we don't know how to give up. We just know how to win. We invite you to take a walk through the unique promises from God found in Psalm 91. Rest in the safe place God has for you to abide in, one where you can learn of Him and His great love. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Marilyn's new DVD teaching, Psalm 91, Revealing the Heart of God. You will be guided through two inspired messages from this supernatural psalm, all taught from Marilyn's home. We will also send you Experiencing God's Heart, the book of Psalms for today, which has been captured from our Psalms Classic Library edition, along with Sarah's Hope for the Future DVD teaching. For your gift of $89 or more, we will include the Spirit-Filled Life Bible. This NKJV Bible will equip you to live in His kingdom, exercise the gifts of the Spirit, and lay hold of God's promises. His word applies to every situation, every circumstance, and every season. Call or click today for this anointed offer. And verses 3 through 4 say, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Now that would be catching a little bird. And from the perilous pestilence, that could be COVID, that could be all kinds of junk that is going around and people getting it, and he shall cover you with his feathers. And feathers are soft to me. You know, I think, man, you want it to be soft. And under his wings, you shall take refuge. So I don't have to think, oh, all this horrible stuff is going on out there, and what's going to happen to me? I'm going to get under his wings. That is so sweet to me. And then his truth shall be your shield and buckler. Now, let me tell you, I love my Bible. And I have found sometimes when it doesn't look like 
you're under the shield or the buckler. You got to read it. You got to speak it. You got to talk to your mountain and tell it to move, get out of the way. You got to get what's on the other side of the mountain. So, you know, you say, well, I have prayed these things and nothing has happened. But you know what? I take my Bible and I find that the Bible works. And when your mind gets into doubt, I speak the promises of God. Sometimes I memorize them and I speak them. And I might may call somebody and say, I just want to tell you what Psalm 91 says. It is so wonderful. And I want you to do something special. Would you please call for prayer for what your need is? And you don't need to go into long detail. Just say, I need healing. I need finances. I need a breakthrough in my marriage. Just do it quickly. And know that God hears you and loves you. And, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, so-and-so, they're just their favorite. Let me tell you, God loves you. And he wants to do favorite things for you. And so you are speaking things with your mouth. And I think about the Israelites. Good night. They were 40 years in the wilderness. And imagine their shoes didn't wear out. <laughs> now, women would really like that, wouldn't they? <laughs> their shoes didn't wear out. And I think, wow, they got through and they found that he met them in their tremendous needs in the wilderness. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm old and I have found, and since I was 11 years old and in those early years, that the word works. I have found absolutely. So if you say, oh, well, why do you read the Bible? I can tell you why. Because it's faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. And when you get into faith, I'm telling you, you get into the supernatural. Do you want the supernatural in your life? You need to get into faith. You need to know God's truth is my shield and buckler. I can stay in the secret place of believing in God's word. I can say with my mouth, what are you saying? Oh, what's the use? No, no, no. He is my refuge and my fortress. I say those things early in the morning because I know I have a busy day every day. And I look at the Israelites 40 years in the wilderness and their shoes didn't wear out. Now, women... We like shoes, and we would think that was just out of this world. And 40 years in the wilderness, they didn't have a grocery bill. Can you imagine, especially in this day when groceries are going up, that God is meeting our needs and meeting them abundantly? And 40 years in the wilderness, I'm telling you, Psalm 91 got them through. And you need to call for prayer because we want to pray for you. We want to get you through whatever wilderness you may be encountering. And don't say, well, it doesn't work. I'm too old. Honey, I'm older than you. I'm sure I am. And it works. And I can tell you from these years, I see the word work. This Bible, I've cried in it. I've marked it up. I mean, it's just... It's very sweet to me. And so when I go through it again, I think, oh my goodness, that's when God brought me through that financial need. That's when God brought me through that physical need. That's when God brought me through that relationship need. And I want you to call for prayer. Please, please call for prayer. We don't, we're not going to go into a lot of detail. Just say, I have this need and get prayer. Because prayer, people praying the promises of God take care of the problems of life. Can you remember that? Praying the promises take care of the problems. So we want to hear from you. We want to come against what the enemy would like to do in your life, your family's life. God bless you. I believe today is your best day. Why not? I'm saying that for me, and I'm saying it for you. Today is the best day of your life. Jesus lives big in you. 
We invite you to take a walk through the unique promises from God found in Psalm 91. Rest in the safe place God has for you to abide in, one where you can learn of Him and His great love. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Marilyn's new DVD teaching, Psalm 91, Revealing the Heart of God. You will be guided through two inspired messages from the supernatural psalm, all taught from Marilyn's home. We will also send you Experiencing God's Heart, the book of Psalms for today, which has been captured from our Psalms Classic Library edition, along with Sarah's Hope for the Future DVD teaching. For your gift of $89 or more, we will include the Spirit-Filled Life Bible. This NKJV Bible will equip you to live in His kingdom, exercise the gifts of the Spirit, and lay hold of God's promises. His Word applies to every situation, every circumstance, and every season. Call or click today for this anointed offer. Isn't it awesome that Psalm 91 tells us we can dwell in the secret place of the Most High? Now, I think we tend to think I can get in there on occasion. But the Bible says we can dwell there. Can you live in the secret place of the Most High? Can I live in the secret place of the Most High? Can I get out of, oh, it'll never work. Can I put aside all those things? Yes. And it says, that because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you. So, Father, I'm just praying for everyone watching this. No evil shall befall them. And I come against the enemy who's trying to bring evil against them and their loved ones. And I break the powers of darkness right now in Jesus' name. And I thank you that we have victory in every arena of our life. And the game is not over till we win in every arena. God, you're a big God. You do big things, and I believe you're doing big things in everyone who's watching us right now. Big miracles, big changes, big transformations, because, folks, I know this about God. He never intended for you to lose. I can't find that in the Bible. Oh, I want you to lose. All I find in the Bible is he wants you to win. He wants me to win, and the game is not over until we win. Mm -hmm.